Hey everyone, so I, what I just did here, I just created a, a wind, clean Windows 7 virtual machine, because you know I have Steam on my system already, but I'm just going to show you guys how to, uh, how you can just keep Steam running on your, whether you have Windows 7, 8, 8.1, or any of those other, or the server versions, 2008 R2, 2012, 2012 R2, whatever and you can keep using Steam on it for the time being. I mean, in the future, there might have to be some root certificate updates, but for now, um, it's pretty simple, actually. I already archived... This is actually the uh, Steam... And this is something I did that I don't think anyone else really did. I Not only did I archive the stable build, but I also archived the, made an archive of the beta latest beta client which is December 20th and then the stable one was um, December 8th I'm actually going to I'm, a, I'm actually gonna check probably over this next week or two to see if there's any newer ones because there might be at least one more for each but for now this is it's pretty simple actually so all you have to do um, just install, I got the Steam set up already, copied over, so just simply, we're not going to actually run Steam, but see now we have Steam over here, and then, um, and then all we're going to do, we're going to go to properties, we're going to go to the file location, and then we'll go to, we'll just go to C drive program files x86, that's where the Steam directory is, and then in this case, and then we're just gonna we're gonna replace the whole Steam folder because that's what's in the um, in the zip file. So and then we'll just wait for that to finish, which hopefully won't take too long. Yeah, it's not gonna take very long. And then yep. And then we're just gonna go ahead and hit copy and replace. And you can do this with Seven Zip, but. You know, I figured this is probably fine since it's a zip file. Uh, okay, so we just copied that. And then... Actually, that's pretty much it. I already included the config file, which I'll show you guys in a minute. And then, um... You can log in. And just keep in mind, that this is exact same for the stable build too, but... I just prefer the beta one because I figure it's newer and it'll probably, I don't know how if it'll make a huge difference, but we go to About Steam, Wednesday, December 20th, we go to uh, Interface, we see the Steam beta update is, and then we go here, check for Steam updates, and this is exactly what's supposed to happen. Something went wrong. Because one of the lines in there, in the config file, which I'll go ahead and show you guys now, is preventing it from updating. So we'll go here. I'm just showing you guys, just so you know what it is. Bootstrapper inhibit all equals enable. Bootstrapper for self update. I'm guessing this is probably the aut disabling auto update and then something about this line. I'm not sure that's about the specifics, but. This is what I saw on Reddit, and for now, that's that's pretty much all you got to do. It's pretty, it's actually pretty simple. So, thank you for watching, guys, and here's the hopefully having Steam running on seven, eight, and eight point one for another few years because ten and eleven is just is awful. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And have a happy new year.